Hey Cape Town, we're the Sampson family, traveling around Africa in a truck running on recycled waste vegetable oil and solar power. We hear the droughts are getting worse back home and you're struggling with water restrictions. So we'd like to give you some tips on how to save water. The key is to use less and then use it more often. So for example, when we cook, we use the same water to rinse our vegetables before the meal as we do to wash it up afterwards. Our basins are very small, which helps us use less water. You can do the same by putting a small bowl in your sink. The same principle applies in the bathroom. We save the water we wash in to flush the toilet. You know that expression, if it's yellow, let it mellow, if it's brown, flush it down? Well, when that gets a bit stinky in hot weather, we use a diluted bleach to spray the toilet in between flushes. You know never to let the tap run while cleaning your teeth. No one's stupid enough to do that anymore, are they? Pardon? I said, no one's stupid enough to do that anymore, are they? Well, in the same way, we never leave the shower running while we're still in it. Yep, we just wet and rinse. One blast to wet yourself before you get soaped up and another one to rinse off. Get out the shower! No proud Cape Tonian should be letting the water run for more than three minutes. That's one short song. We reuse our soapy grey water to wash our sandy feet. You can use the grey water from your shower washing machine to water the garden, flush the toilet or wash your car. We don't have a washing machine. You might be prepared to wear that smelly t-shirt for just one more day if you had to do all your washing by hand like we do. Some people may take it too far. So this is how we live on 50 litres each per week. You've got 50 litres per day Cape Town, you can do it. If you don't start good water saving habits soon, Cape Town could end up looking like the Sahara.